Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And now you can get 15% off of your purchase using my promo code PATRIOT at checkout. So yes, 15% off your order using my code PATRIOT. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The feature bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Needle Nose. This here was my most anticipated figure of Wave 1. I have been waiting on a Needle Nose to complete my trio of Decepticon Target Masters since we got Quake back in the Titans Return line. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Needle Nose himself behind that glorious open window that has already caused some damage to the box. I mean, yay, plastic free packaging. Uh, we've got some great looking artwork of Needle Nose right there in jet mode coming in for an attack with his Target Masters Sunbeam and Zigzag attached to the wings. Transformers Legacy Evolution, Needle Nose, Transformers. This side of the box has more of that great artwork showing a close up of Needle Nose's head. Love that. And there's a full shot of him in robot mode attacking some Autobots. Back of the packaging is product shots showing Needle Nose in robot mode, jet mode, his target masters in robot mode, and gun mode in their combined form. This side of the box features the new Legacy Evolution artwork showing off Armada Prime, Breakdown, Leo Prime, Needle Nose, Crosscut, Scrap Hook, the Dinobots, and what everybody is thinking is the head of the Nemesis. Now on top of the box you have the QR codes for the figure bio. If you want to check that out, there that is right there. So now, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get Needle Nose opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now once you get Needle Nose all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with his Target Master partners, Sunbeam and Zigzag, along with their barrels and tail fin. And then of course you've got Needle Nose himself. Now in the instructions it doesn't show anything about the barrels being separated before you attach those to the target master so i'm not sure if mine popped off in the packaging or what just be careful that they may be loose and something i find quite funny the tail fin here being an option that you can attach to the back of the figure and we're going to go ahead and do that right now just attaches right there on the back is if you were hunting down an original needle nose that tail fin right there is one of the hardest pieces to find and one of the most expensive G1 accessories. So I just think it's kind of ironic or maybe Hasbro did it on purpose that the tail fin right there is detachable. So let's go ahead and take a look at Needle Nose's Target Masters first. Now before I get to reviewing these two Target Masters, I want to point something out. When you attach the barrels, if you have to, make sure with Sunbeam here that you have the sight right there that is facing toward his back. So you want that to look like that there. Now with zigzag, you look at the barrels, there is notches right there. See that? That is what's gonna line up to the pegs right here above his head. So just line up those notches and slide those in. They snap into place and there you go. So since I have him in hand already, let's take a look at zigzag nice glossy black figure and this is 
painted purple plastic. I noticed when I was attaching the barrel, if you look inside, you can see that's purple. So don't know why they did that, but is what it is. I do like the nice glossy black. Now, as you can see, the Battlemaster design is gone. Hasbro is going for a more G1 inspired look. And you can tell that by taking a look at the original zigzag. And man, Hasbro nailed it. Except for the fact that they, that they didn't give the legacy zigzag painted underwear. So I guess he's going commando. So he does have good paint applications. You got the yellow arms, yellow legs, the white face, and look at the details. I like the armor look on the legs. And actually looks like he has thrusters there on the side of the boots. And I swear, if you look, it looks like he has a bladed weapon attached to his arm. So that's pretty slick. And then of course we already saw gun mode, just flip the barrels out and over. And there you go, he is a double barreled blaster, just like the original zigzag. So that's pretty slick. And he is blast effect compatible. Got a couple little green effects right here, peg these in. So there you go. So I love the fact we're still able to use blast effects. So now let's bring in Sunbeam, and I always get these two mixed up a lot, so I might call them different names in the videos because I feel like Sunbeam should be this guy since he's yellow. So anyway, looking at Sunbeam right here, more great details on the figure. He's got a molded in weapon there in his left hand, just like the original Sunbeam. And if I can get a hold of him, he doesn't have the little, what I thought was rocket launchers like the original head, but still paint applications are great. Red face, red arms, white underwear, white boots. I dig it. And then of course his gun mode, we've already seen that. You flip over the barrel and there you go. He is a single barrel blaster that you can attach the blast effects to as well. Now another G1 throwback that these two have is that they can combine together to form a super weapon. Just attach one to the other, just like so. And there you go, a triple barrel blaster, just like the original G1. And of course, you can alternate just like this for that look. Or there's another peg hole here that you can move the top gun sunbeam forward a little bit more. Now, you want to be careful because of the painted plastic here. This is a little tighter to peg into that hole and you do want to avoid stress marks. Now, another look I like to do back in G1 was to make a rifle mode where you take one of the figures and face him backwards, like so. So you get a rifle look. And of course you can alternate the two with this as well. So now let's take a look at Needle Nose himself. Legacy Evolution Needle Nose is so G1, it hurts. I mean, look at him compared to the original G1 figure. That is awesome. I love the looks of this guy. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, the head sculpt is amazing. I've always liked Needle Nose's head sculpt because he looks like a knight with that visor there on the crest, the painted red eyes, are just stunning on this figure and the yellow face looks great. One of my biggest complaints with the original G1, it was just a yellow face. He had no painted eyes whatsoever, but he still had that knight helmet, which was pretty cool. Molded details all the way around along the chest. You got the different vents, Decepticon insignia right there in the center. Moving on down, more molded details on the thighs, the legs, down here on the knees. You got some blue with turquoise right there for the shins. Now it looks like the arms, they're a purple plastic. You got gray plastic. I can't tell if the blue is painted or not. Now I know the turquoise right here is painted and he's got the purple plastic feet. He does have a backpack, but so did the original G1. So that's really no biggie. Now you can, if you want, you can peg or unpeg the nose cone and flip it around so it looks like that. I'm not a big fan. I like it pegged in. 
and hanging down just like the original G1 figure. Now let's get into articulation. The head is on a ball joint. It can do a complete 360. It can look up and down slightly, but you are going to kind of have to wiggle around the thruster there on his back. Arms can go out. They can go in. They can do a complete 360 as well if you maneuver the wings out of the way. So it is nice that the wings are on hinges, bringing in the original G1 again. His wings were flat across his back, just like you see right here, but with the new needle nose, you can angle those back for that look right there. And of course, you got the tail fin on the back. He does have, let's see, yep, there is waist rotation, but man, it is tight. Legs can go out, they can go in, they can go forward, they can go back. There is a nice deep knee bend and an ankle tilt. I don't think I finished with the arms. There is a deep, deep bicep bend. There is a rotation there at the bicep and wrist rotation. So lots of posability for this figure right here. So let's go ahead and get his target masters back. We've got zigzag here, pop him in the right hand. Nice tight fit and sunbeam in the left. That purple matches up pretty good. So there we've got needle nose all armed and ready for battle with his target master. Now on to transformation. Love the transformation for this guy. It's very similar to the original needle nose. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and flop the chest down right here. Bring the arms up. You got these little pegs right here. They're going to line up to these slots. Or excuse me, the slots are right here. So you're bringing the arms up and around and they're going to hook into those slots on the outside of the arm, just like that. Go ahead and bring the head down, bring the arms up and these panels down as well. Then you'll flip this section here up and then bring these up and over. So I guess you really didn't need to bring those all the way down. I just kind of did to get them out of the way. So you've got that look going on right there. Go ahead and shut up the chest plate. Now we're going to kind of get this out of the way here. You're going to face the, to rotate the legs so where the toes face each other. And then you're going to bring these legs up and around. And there's this big gap right here that's going to fit over the arms. So just like that on both sides. Get those squeezed in. There is a tab right in there. Let me find it for you right there and right there just line that up snap them together then you're gonna bring the feet up just like so now those don't snap together yet that part is coming up so now you're gonna take the back section here with the wings and you're gonna untab this now when i first did it it tabs together really really good so a little bit of force you're gonna bring that up you're gonna bring this whole section over this way if you look right there, there's a couple slots that are going to line up to these tabs on Needle Nose's feet. So trying to get those lined up can be a little bit of a pain, especially on camera here. So bear with me. Because these, they don't want to stay together. So you got to kind of force those together. Bring that up and over. Let's see if, and there we go. Got one and the other tabbed in, maybe. It is not working for me. You also have to make sure and line up these tabs here with the front of the jet. So let me get that tabbed in first. Now, always on camera. The first time I did this went together flawlessly. So squeeze that together. There we go. That is now tabbed together. Go ahead and bring the wings down. Bring the nose cone up and over. These little pegs right here are going to slot in right there. And you want to make sure there's a peg right there that lines up with that hole there. Get that squeezed in. And there we have Needle Nose in his jet mode. And this looks awesome. Very, very faithful to the original Needle Nose toy. Who I have right here. I mean, check this out. That is awesome. 
Though the G1 needle nose had green decals, where this one has the turquoise and the tail fin has these little extra fins on the side, where this one was just a straight up and down fin. Collar scheme, exactly the same. The blue nose with the red cockpit that looks awesome. I love it. This figure is just amazing. It's so G1, it hurts. Now, I do wish he had some landing gear. There's not even any molded landing gear. He just kind of sits there. And I wish there were some better paint applications for the cockpit here. You can see the separations, the lines right there. I wish those would have been painted blue, but oh well. Great molded details all along the jet. I mean, it's very streamlined looking and unlike a lot of Transformer jet modes, you really don't see a lot of robot junk there underneath. Now you can take his target masters, get these apart here and position them on the vehicle. You got the holes there on the back that fit on the wings or underneath the wings rather, just like the original G1 toy. So you've got that look going on and I think that's pretty slick. Of course, you can also peg them underneath the jet here via their handheld pegs. But this look, I'm not a fan of. Let's go ahead and get those guys taken off. And of course the feet popped together or popped off again. You gotta watch that. Those will unpop, but pop back into place pretty easy. On the back of the figure, he does have this exhaust that is also blast effect compatible. So there you go. There is Needle Nose rushing into battle. I love this figure. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Evolution Needle Nose with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Needle Nose, Titans Return Quake, and Earthrise Spinister. Hasbro definitely hit the ground running with their first deluxe figure for the Legacy Evolution line. I love this toy. It is so G1, it hurts. I know I've said that over and over again, but this is definitely a nod to the G1 fans. From the design of Needle Nose to the design of the Target Masters, this one is just awesome for us old school G1ers. And I think newer collectors will enjoy him as well because he's a very cool Transformer figure though they may not appreciate the Target Masters with their zero articulation. So, does a Legacy Evolution Needle Nose belong in your collection? Absolutely. We have been waiting on this guy since the release of Quake back in Titan's Return and Spinister in Earthrise. We needed this Target Master trio. So yes, if you see Needle Nose on the shelf, do not hesitate pick him up. This is a great Transformers figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Who are?